Hello everybody from uh, New York City. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel CyberSack. Uh, this channel is devoted mostly to cybersecurity, but this video is a little bit off topic. Today we're going to speak about freedom and a little bit about military. We're going to visit my friend Tom in Long Island, uh, 30 miles from Manhattan, and uh, he bought a very interesting vehicle. Check this out. Mr. Tarrell, hello. How are you doing, Dima? Uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting us for this wonderful show of this car. And um, so the purpose of this project, uh, it, uh, it looks like you sense that the civil war is close. <laughs> uh, so that's what you're going to use when you decide to go to Washington to take over the power back. So that's the story? Uh, no, I, I always wanted a Humvee. Uh, I wanted Humvee? One... Humvee. Humvee. Uh, it's HM... HMM... Uh, WV, it's a uh, high mobility, multi-wheeled vehicle. Okay. And uh, I always wanted one since I was a kid. And uh, back in June, I was going on government auction sites. And when I was on there, I was seeing that the prices were about like $7,000, $8,000 for them. And uh, that piqued my interest. So I placed the bid for $5,000 and I got this for $3,900. <laughs> $3,900? Yeah. And then after this auction fees and stuff and shipping, and I had shipped to my buddy's house all the way to there. That was about uh, you know, about six thousand dollars. So, and I see it's diesel. Oh yeah, it's it's diesel. Uh, some of them just instead of it saying diesel, it says JP8, which is jet propellant eight. But uh, it all comes down to basically being the same thing. So does this uh, thing swim? So you can go into the. I can go lake? up to I can ford up to thirty inches of water, which uh, I think that's like up to here on me. Uh, okay, so you can fish from this car. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what is the most uh, crazy part uh, about this car, uh, like in your opinion? Uh, well, this one they used to drop out of uh, airplanes. That's what this is somehow related to that. That was when they would strap it onto the uh, whatever they did to strap it onto when they would send it out the back of an airplane with the parachutes on it to drop it to the ground. This is uh, an M1097 R1, which is a uh, heavy lift. Uh, air airdrop variant so they would drop this out of planes they had these big hooks over here where they could put it up on straps and they would uh they could fly it by a helicopter and drop it off somewhere if need and, be and uh inside there were four soldiers yeah there would be four soldiers this one uh the last driver of it was specialist dixon and the uh his passenger was lieutenant ross uh this was last at a army national guard uh, base down in North Carolina. I think it was somewhere in like Brutner or Butler, North Carolina. And what is the year it was made? This one was made in uh, two th 2006. I believe the month oh, is... 2006? Yeah. And it was uh, made in, I believe, February. It weighs 5,600 pounds and uh, it can uh, tow another, I think, uh, 4,400. 4,400 4, in the bed. And uh, so, yeah, it's good it's a ton and a quarter pickup truck <laughs> okay. we're gonna drive it later today and um, maybe in this area of Long Island it's not that exotic or it's still exotic people oh yeah you drive it around everyone's going like that all the little kids going pumping up giving uh, thumbs up it's it's a blast to drive I love driving it around getting the attention I get so uh, what is the engine here the engine is a 6.5 liter diesel. Uh, do you want me to open up the hood for you? Yeah, 6.5. 6.5 liter naturally aspirated diesel. Wow. Uh, it's a Detroit diesel hooked up to a three speed non overdrive transmission. 6.5 and three speed. Yeah, it has. Ah, a, so, it's, so it's old school. Uh, yeah, it's like driving a truck from the 60s. <laughs> from the 60s? That's, that's what it feels like. That's, yeah, that's, that's all fiberglass. Uh, me and my dad did some fiberglass work on that to you know clean up some uh, cracks like there was a crack here and a few other spots on the bumper where it got dinged up it's an awesome truck i, I love playing with it yeah it looks like um simple you know but it's military technology it's so it's all simple there's no computers in this detroit diesel what does it mean there's there's different kinds of diesels like the manufacturers but this one is specifically a detroit diesel i'm not a diesel expert I'm just an idiot who bought a Detroit diesel. <laughs> but like I had people say, oh, is that I got a Detroit diesel in it? And I was like, I don't know, I, I just got it. And then I did the research and uh, everything says that it's a 6.5 uh, Detroit diesel. Uh, there is no steer, uh, soft steer option, right? So you, it's like very rough. Uh, it's easy to turn. No, it's, it's easy to turn. It's got, it has power steering and all that. Uh, uh, power steering is there. Yeah, it has power steering. Uh, it has... Uh, 
a lot of nice stuff. It just doesn't have overdrive. It doesn't have a park gear. So that's why... Uh, and it's also automatic gear. It's not mechanical. Right. It's uh, three-speed automatic, no overdrive. So it's top speeds. Like, driving it, for me, I go about, you know, top speed 50. But I mean, I probably could do 60 miles an hour, but it's not as happy. But inside, there was uh, there's a lot of wires. I got to do some work tracing them to see where they go to, because I don't want to just cut them and uh, get shorts in there. Mm -hmm. But there's a bunch that go to antennas that were up in the rear and stuff like that. There's a... It's messy now. I didn't... Uh, <laughs> Didn't really clean it out, but she was never going to be a beauty queen. Uh, did you pass uh, the inspection from the first uh, take? Uh, well, it's Montana. I had to do all the uh, road legalization stuff myself, like make sure that it had dual brightness uh, taillights. So if I have the headlights, uh, the, he the lights on in the car and I hit the brakes, it bright it lightens up a little more. Because initially, uh, some of them, when you would get them, they just had single brightness. So if you hit the brakes and the uh, lights were on, they wouldn't change. So that was one thing they had to make sure was on there. Uh, directionals, one of my directionals is out, but so right now I'm doing hand signals for right turns. Uh, it, it works in the front, but in the back, uh, I don't get a blinker. I'm, I'm working on tracing out that problem. I'm not getting power back there. So I'm probably gonna have to run a wire or fix something else. Do you need to register this car uh, with the military people? Well, to take the car or to take the truck, what I had to do was uh, at the auction, I had to submit my license and a bunch of information. They do a background check on me to make sure that I'm not a terrorist. So I could I could have theoretically won this truck and they wouldn't have turned it over to me and they would have just kept my money. Because if like if I didn't meet their uh, criteria for being able to take the government uh, surplus, I'd just be shit out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> but like this, when, when they sent it to me, uh, I didn't get a title or anything with it. I just got a standard form 97, which is uh, you can use that to obtain a title. So I went through a service uh, called Dirt Legal and uh, they they helped me out with everything to uh, get this registered and on the road. So why there is so many different things on the wheel? Uh, it's a two piece wheel. Uh, so if I took out these lug nuts on top, that would, I'd be able to, to split the rim and this is what holds it to the hub. So it has eight bolts uh, in the middle and then t uh, a dozen around the outside. It's uh, manufactured by AM General. There's all sorts of little things here, like uh, just regarding with how much you can put on there, like a, a 4,200 pound trailer and such, or which th things were slings and which ones were for uh, tie downs. It doesn't have a fancy uh, bed like pickup trucks do now. You gotta just, Unhook it and then hook it back up yourself. Those things, they open? No, that's if you go under there, that's just, that's so the wheel can travel. Ah, so it's just a... Uh... Yeah, this has a lot of wheel travel. All right, you ready? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Starts right up. I'll close that door for you. This handle's a little messed up. said the tank uh, how big is the tank uh, 25 gallons of, of diesel uh, so it's not that much uh, and uh, uh, is diesel the same price as gasoline in the United States 
It's like the cost of premium gas. So oh, okay. it doesn't make a difference with me and my other cars. In Russian speaking world, I don't know why. It, diesel is always way cheaper. Diesel diesel is more expensive than gas. So um, how many horsepower? It, this has, I think, like 180 or 190 horsepower and uh, a bunch of torque. But ah, okay, so it's low. Well, it's it's low, but there's a gear reduction in the wheels. Like if we put this up on jack stands and at all four wheels on the ground, when you turn the tires forward, the drive shafts under there are spinning backwards. So because in the wheels there's a, a portal axle or a portal hub where there's uh, gears in there. So like my brakes are in, inside my car. They're not in the hub. They're not down here. They're in the axle. So when you hit the brakes, that's all in the middle. Uh, and the hubs are down here and that's what puts power to the wheel. So you physically has, uh, have to go to Montana to register it? No, it was all uh, with the company that I used called ah, Dirt Legal. Party. Yeah, Dirt Legal. They were great. Uh, they did all the work. I should get my title on it next week. Uh, but they sent me the plates. I got those about two weeks ago. I had temporary plates on it uh, within two weeks of uh, getting the truck delivered. But that, that was on me. I mean, I could have had temporary plates on it uh, like two to three days afterwards if I, I paid a premium. Uh, in my country, uh, military, uh, the government, uh, I think if the war starts, they kind of still going to use it for their purpose. So is there requirements like that here? Or it's no, this is mine. They didn't want it anymore. Oh, ah, okay. They got fancier trucks to use. This isn't armored. They don't need soft doors like this. <laughs> and um, you got it for 3,900 on the auction. And, it was... uh, the engine and the transmission was recently replaced. The engine transmission and uh, the transfer cases uh, all look pretty new. The engine, it didn't even run long enough to uh, you know, make it look like it ran on the uh, the headers on the truck. So, I mean, it's basically a new drivetrain in the vehicle and uh, it runs great. Is if you look in there, you see that it's disconnected from uh, the muffler. I got to take it to a shop and get that re-welded. The, the tailpipe just popped off the uh, muffler. That was probably when they loaded it up on the truck with a forklift. Because okay. when I ordered this, uh, it didn't start. So the shipping company I used, they had the army come over with a forklift lift it up and put it on the trailer. And I got a call from them telling me that I needed a forklift to get it off their trailer. And I said, no, 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 I'll get batteries. I'll get it out of there. Two new batteries in it, started right up, drove it off the truck. It has a uh, serial number, not a VIN, 602702. Can I take a sit? Yeah, you can sit there. The seat's all the way back. You gotta, you gotta turn this when you close it. think this one is for racing yeah I don't think it's for going to the market <laughs> <laughs> you say why the, uh, the window is so clean why because you eat they take care of their cars because they baby them baby <laughs> uh, unlike me my, my truck lives in the street and it gets dropped out of airplanes <laughs> What car is that? This is uh, pretty popular here. Uh, I don't know if this is a Monte Carlo. It, a Monte Carlo. Uh, let's see, it'll say it on the back usually. No, it's, it's all shaved off, but it's, I think that's Monte. What's SS? What? what? It means SS. Super Sport. Super Sport? Yeah. <laughs> what movie uh, reminds you of this car? A movie? Yeah. Uh, in my mind, uh, I'd have to say Animal House just because it's a station wagon that they chop up and, you know, made look cool. <laughs> Why, what does it make you remind of? Um, I don't know, like movies about Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> you got maybe the most reliable guy. I probably do have the most reliable motor. Probably starts the quickest too. This one have beautiful legs. Yeah. Is 
Do we recognize this one? I want to say Corvette, but like Corvette? first, yeah, first generation Corvette. And they got a smaller set of flags over there. <laughs> When I walk uh, in this exhibition, I feel uh, free. Because it's uh, America. <laughs> no, no uh, this spot is particular American. I don't know why. Maybe the sound of engine and uh, like good quality automobiles is like a symbol. Well, I don't know. I don't know how you could see anything. It's camouflage, so there's nothing that you could see here. It's clearly <laughs> camouflage. <laughs> so. All your life you live here and you know this exhibition every Friday? Yeah, it's every Friday, I think between March and October. I oh, know, I mean, it exists forever. It has been here for as long as I can remember. My brother used to come here uh, probably 15 years ago and he'd bring his Mustangs and he'd park all the way down in that corner. He'd, he'd get off work, go home, wash his car and park it way down there. He'd be the first car in there backed up waiting for everyone to come in and he'd have his whole Mustang club around him. What is this? Uh, this is the air filter. It's a giant canister that is a pain in the butt to take out, but uh, it's that it takes up that whole thing. It's just a big canister. The air intake is here, so if the water gets up to that point, uh, you're not going to be having a good time. I could get the deep water fording kit, which brings that up to a, over the roof, and then I could, you know, drive it underwater holding a, a snorkel in my mouth or a scuba tank. Wow. So uh, you were a mechanic, uh, amateur mechanic all your life or just because of this vehicle? I used to just change my oil and uh, I'd have my buddy help me doing my brakes or something like that. But, you know, I'm, I got this and now I'm stuck with it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the invitation. Good luck to your car and uh, long live America. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, come again sometime, <laughs> hang out with us. What I found the most fascinating about this vehicle Humvee is how fast the engine starts. In my native Belarus back home to start a military vehicle, it's already a big victory. Anyway, as you remember, Tom, he is an attorney, so that's why everything needs to be by the books. As you know, it is forbidden to have refurbished vehicles in the state of New York to register them at DMV, but some states, for example, Montana, can do that. So that's what Tom did. So he has Montana place. he used uh, third party to help him to do that so it it was very creative so it means everything is possible how cool is that if you remember unfortunately once in the history of the united states there was a civil war here and i'm curious uh, hopefully not, but uh, uh, is it going to happen ever again? And uh, what do you think if the civil war started in the United States? Are you more safe in this type of vehicle going somewhere or are you safe in regular person vehicle like Tesla, for example? Maybe those military vehicles will be uh, confiscated or attacked uh, first. Uh, what do you think? Please write in the comment about this idea. Also, uh, thank you very much for your attention, for watching this video. Please subscribe uh, if uh, you like this type of content and also uh, click like or dislike uh, if you really like or hate this video. Again, thank you very much for your attention and again, hello from New York City.